Uh, I rise to speak on the Statutes Amendment Attorney General's Portfolio and Other Justice Measures Bill, which amends 14 acts within the Attorney General's Portfolio and two acts that are justice related. As um, the honourable member has um, observed, this is a matter that we dealt with almost 12 months um, to the day. I had the opportunity to uh, look at Hansard um, this morning. A number of the amendments are in a technical nature, as stated on the Attorney General's second reading speech, but some of them do have broader implications. In particular, I do want to highlight some of those that have uh, significant effects. The amendments to the Children and Young People Safety Act provides an important measure in protecting young people. In cases where a young person is involved in communication with a person subject to a direction, this amendment ensures the child is protected from committing an offence. And as many in this chamber will be aware, I am committed to ensuring that children are not caught up in the criminal justice system, and this amendment certainly prevents that in some cases. Part 13 of the bill removes automatic entitlement to legal representation under initial reviews provided for in the Mental Health Act of 2009. The Greens have some concerns with this clause, however, as we believe in the fundamental principles of the right to a fair hearing, and we believe that this must be upheld. That includes the right to competent representation through our legal processes. In the Attorney General's second reading speech, he referred to initial reviews being undertaken on the basis of written reports and treatment plans and stated that this means legal representation is not necessary for initial reviews. In a submission to the then former um, attorney, or then attorney General, the Hon. Vicky Chapman, the Law Society stated in its opposition to the proposal to exempt Section 79 reviews. Because the orders which are reviewable under this section involve orders in respect of the detention of children, the extension of inpatient treatment orders and in detention of a person who has been detained following the uh, who has been and the detention of a person who has been detained following the expiry or revocation of a previous inpatient detention order, we do not agree that legal representation that's end quote should be uh, denied in these circumstances. And we'll be moving an amendment at the committee stage to remove this section. Now, uh, members may recall, um, any of those that are listening, um, may recall that uh, around this time um, last year, I um, moved an amendment to um, the bill uh, to do just that. We, well, it was going to move an amendment. We didn't progress with it um, on advice that was received um, from the government. Uh, but my office has since engaged with the Law Society again, and it is still their view that they have some concerns around this section. And it's on that basis that I will be um, proceeding with the amendment. Thank you.